Jay, thank you very much for being in studio with us here. I'd love to get your thoughts on whether or not you think that this massive market rally that we've seen post-election can have legs, especially in a seasonally strong time of year in the fourth quarter. Thanks, Tom. Well, we actually are playing a short-term stall in the market just through the end of November. The only real catalyst we have is NVIDIA. And then you get these comments like the, from the Fed chair. So the market's vulnerable here. We had a 6,000 target, which was out of consensus, of, and we, we upped, upped it in June. <clears throat> but so we think we'll stall out, probably have a year in rally. The critical element is we do have a 7,500 target for next year, but that's dependent on a corporate tax cut. Otherwise, we'd have a pretty mundane 6,600 target for the S&P. What exactly is your favorite part of the market for the coming year? We really love the investment banks. I used to be an investment banker, so I can kind of sense when these markets are heating up. We've been positive for a year, but we're actually carrying 30% above consensus earnings for Goldman Sachs. So we're far more optimistic about AI IPOs. So it's an indirect AI play. M&A definitely with the new FTC chair, new regulatory environment. So we actually have a 750 target on Goldman Sachs. So that's really our number one pick. That's our number one position in ICAP, our large cap dividend fund. 